begin to magnify the name of the Most High God. Let me begin to worship God. Let's just lift our voice this hour. Begin to thank God for this special moment. Let's just lift our voice begin to magnify the name of God. Let's begin to adore Him for He is alone is worthy to be praised. Let's give Him the glory, the adoration for a time like this. The time that we have been waiting for has come. Let's just lift up our voice and begin to magnify His name. If God has not given us this, giving us this privilege, we could have not been here today. If God has not given us opportunity, we could have arranged it. We could have programmed this program and we will not be here now. But God make us to be alive today to, to, to organize it and to be here. Let's pray in the Holy Name. Yes, let's pray in the Holy Name. Yes, let's pray in the Holy Name. There is no like unto our name. Glory, Lord. We magnify your name. Eternity to eternity. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. The mighty man of God, the that I am, that the Lord of worship you now. Glory Lord, be to your name, faithful God. Be that it all, that Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord, to be praised. I should tell you to be adored. I give you the glory, Lord. I give you the honor. Now. Yes, I give Lord. You yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be that glorified, be that exalted. We bless now. you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Can you hear me? Yes, ma, we are hearing you. God has already taken control of today. The devil is a liar. My network is just skipping. Yes. So, our faithful Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. We honor your great name because of who you are. We thank you, Lord God, because this is the day that you have made that we will rejoice and be glad in it. We give you glory, honor, and adoration because you are in charge already. We give you glory, honor, and adoration because I know by your grace, everyone that will be privileged to be part of this great program today will not leave this place empty-handed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I saw the network with the pressure blood of Jesus. Amen. I come and get distraction in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, take the full center stage. Let Amen. everything that will happen today be according to your direction. In Amen. the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank Amen. you, faith Father, Amen. for in Jesus' glorious name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus once again. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. Straight amen. away, 
We are going to enter into the atmosphere of praise and worship. By the grace of God, we are so privileged and blessed to have a wonderful, dynamic, anointed, great woman of God in our midst that is going to be leading us in praise and worship for just 20 minutes. It's no other person. Please join me. Put your hands together as we welcome our dickiness or Nahino peace. Amen. Just 20 minutes now. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's give some hands unto the Lord. Just wave your hands wherever you have Hallelujah. to go and worship Him. Just wave your hands to Him and worship Him. Thank you, Jesus. Give Him all the praise. Say, Father, thank you. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are young. 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 You are Oh, oh, my soul, 
so much, a record breaker, a mother, a minister, a fearful woman of God. It's no other person. I'm so privileged that she happens to be my wife. Glory be to 
God Almighty, please put your hands together as we welcome uh, Mrs. Oh, Brenda Godwin. Please put your hands together. Put your hands together. I should give you a speech just for five minutes. God bless you, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma. God bless you. More greater grace. Uh, first of all, I want to welcome everyone. I want to thank everyone that is here this evening to make this occasion a wonderful one. I'm not going to spend more time because we are waiting for the, for the, the, the special moment. Uh, I am here to just brief us uh, tender messages of God. What, we, what are the tender messages of God? Tender messages of God, the vision. Uh, the vision is to reach out there. Those out there, the vision is to let them know the things of God. The vision is to teach people what they have not known the concerning the things of God. Uh, the vision is to make people that are still under the darkness to come to God. Uh, this is the vision because God wants us to go to reach out there. I keep on telling people that they that are out there, they, can, they cannot come and meet us in the church. Uh, so we are the one that need to go out there to reach them. Uh, so this is how the vision started 11 years ago. Uh, by the grace of God, November this so the 11 years is uh, the tender mercies of God come. They need to have a people, especially the marriage aspect, because today as today, now, many marriages they are having a lot of problem. Why? Because the devil is fighting marriages. Uh, because he know how important marriage is. Uh, it is through marriage that we can build the church, that the so-called church, and the devil is fighting marriages. Uh, so that is why the tender message group uh, we decide to keep on reaching. Uh, as far as we can go to reach people with the word of God, to build people with the word of God, uh, because the, 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 the more of the word of God you know, the, the, the more knowledge of the things of God you will know. Because by the time you know the word of God, by the time you know the things of God, people can no longer cheat you, people can no longer uh, make jest of you, people can no, longer, can no longer fall a victim as people are falling a victim today. So this is the aim, the purpose of this group, uh, the tender mercies of God. Uh, and we base it on love uh, because it started with love. Uh, without love, we cannot reach others. Uh. So this is the, the aim, the vision for this group. And I pray and as God continue to give us more vision, we continue to accept for the, for the kingdom of God uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. That was powerful. Thank you very much, great man of God. May God continue to increase his all year that is upon your life daily as we live in Jesus' name. You will never do ministry and miss heaven in Jesus' name. God bless you, man. That was powerful. Wow. Glory be to Jesus. I believe everyone that is hearing the sound of my voice is overloaded today to dilute the undiluted word of God because we are so privileged to have the great man of God that is going to be feeding us spiritually. And I believe every one of us will go home being fed by the word of God. For the benefit of those that don't know the theme of this program, the theme is the, the indispensability of marital sources and health living. There are some quality things in marriage that one needs to know. Until you know it, you cannot apply it. So we are so privileged to have our great man of God today by the grace of God. Professionally, when it comes to about professional, is a daughter. I call him spiritual and physical daughter because he's also a daughter when it comes to about the things of God. I was so blessed the other day when I was privileged to hear him detail the word of God. Believe me, what I gained from his teaching that day is still taking me higher and higher and he's here with us today. Please, I want every one of you hearing the sound of my voice, if it's possible, please let us put on our camera so that when the angel of the Lord want to dispatch your blessing to you tonight, he will see your face. Please on your camera. Hallelujah. We are in the presence of God. Please let us put our hands together as we welcome the great man of God. A father 
a pastor, a reverend, but a special grace of God, a man that through his ministry, a lot of generation has been blessed, a lot of broken marriages has been restored. He's someone that the little time I've heard about him, I respect the grace of God that is flowing upon his life. He's no other person but <laughs> Dr. Reverend Frank a wife. Please let us put our hands together. So please, with due respect, you have one hour to feed us with the spiritual minister. Thank you very much. The platform is yours. Please unmute your mic, sir. We can't hear you, sir. We can't hear you, sir. Please unmute your mic. Your mic is muted, sir. We can't Hello, hear praise, you. praise the Lord. Can you hear Hallelujah. me? Clearly, the network is waving. We can't hear, sir. You are not hearing. Hey, sir, if it's possible, hallelujah. Just disconnect the volume and reconnect it. Maybe by then we can hear clearly. Disconnect it and reconnect it again. It's still not clear. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we can hear Clarissa. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Now I want to appreciate you. I want to appreciate everyone in the platform, those that are here to connect. I want you to know that today is loaded. God is prepared to bless every one of us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hello. Hi. Hello, you, sir. Excited to hear and to see all of your faces. It is well. How your family is doing? We are advancing in the Lord by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. Now we are going to start by receiving a word of prayer shall we all pray shall we pray mm. in jesus name amen our heavenly father we want to thank you today because you are good we bless you because there is no like you yes lord. lord today and this very hour and time in question is a time that has been coined to meet with you Lord, we have decided to be with you. Yes, we are a group of people all over the world who talk about you, yes, who Lord. love you, and care about your work. Lord, that's why we are here. We ask, oh God, that your spirit will take over this space and this hour Amen. and reach out to men and women, reach out to families, reach out to boys and girls. Lord, Amen. heal somebody, heal the sick. Lord, heal that marriage that has been eating the rocks Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Father, my God, strengthen every who. Let your glory be revealed. Let your power be, be demonstrated. Thank you, Lord, because we know that your presence is here. Lord, use me today. Minister through me to your people. And Amen. Lord, let me speak expressly as everyone receive your word. In Jesus mighty name we pray and can I hear a loud amen? Amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, now now I I want to appreciate the organizers of this uh, wonderful program. We had a good time the night the last time. 
So today we are together again to share because uh, life is about sharing, it's about giving. And when we give, God gives back to us. Now, tonight, indeed, I'm going to go straight because I am time to work. Uh, the, what we are here to look at today being 27th Friday of August 2021 is the indispensability of marital success. There is in two parts, you know, you have the indispensability of marital success and the indispensability of a healthy living. Okay, there are two there are two together, but one is for today, which is marital success. Then we are looking at the indispensability of it. Now, I'm going to define terms, terms, you know, like the word indispensability. What does it mean? It's an English word, yes. It sounds big, but it's one good word. I mean, it's a word that is all-encompassing. That's why uh, the word is very key and important. The word indispensability means something that you cannot do without. You know. So when we say, therefore, the indispensability of marital success, it means that success in, in marriage or in a home setting or in home management is something we cannot do without especially because of its importance. All of us are products of homes. We all came from different homes. And you see, most of the time, the success of the individual is tied to the home you come, you come from. If you are going to have speed in success, in your personal success, it is highly determined by where you are coming. It's highly determined by a number of factors. You know, and uh, some people will say that, uh, that uh, uh, your home or that a man's enemy, like the Bible says, a man's enemies are members of his household. The reason is your household is different from my household. Now, some people's household, they deliberately push their children toward the path of success. Why others deliberately pull down their, their family members that are working hard to make success in their lives. Okay? And so that's why they call, they say in such cases that there are enemies in, uh, in that instance, you know, because they work sincerely. There are families like that. But, but what we are looking at today is that success is sacrosanct. Everybody looks forward to succeeding in everything that you lay your hands to do. But do you know what? Even though we are all products, we are all coming from a home, as an individual, you don't believe, you don't start with, with marriage. You start with other things about life. For instance, when you are born into a family, you you start growing up and then you get to school age. You are asked to start school. Then uh, when you do your primary school, depending on the ability and then the capacity of each family, the, maybe you do primary school, they will tell you, go, go and learn a trade. Others will tell you, go to secondary. Others will from there tell you, go to university. Others will tell you, do a master's or a degree program doctorate degree programs. Now, these are uh, motivations. They can come from families, they can come from friends, you know, but by and large, what I'm saying by that is that anything, everything you lay your hands on, you want to see success. If you started that primary school, you want to finish it. If you started secondary, you want to make sure that you bring it to it's a, a successful conclusion. If you enter the university, 
or you learned a trade or vocation, you want to make sure that you are finishing it. And when you finish at the tail end of it, then you have succeeded in learning a trade, you have succeeded in finishing a school, but people will not call you a success story yet until you can, whatever you have learned, you can deploy it for your personal upliftment. That's what people now see and say, this man is a successful man. Are you there, somebody? That's right. So we, so the indispensability, it means that, have you, are you married now? Now we are looking at marriage. Are you married or you are not, you are about to marry? I want you to look ahead because what God has planned for you is success story. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter, chapter 2, that eyes, verse, verse 9, it says, eyes have not seen, ears have not had, neither has entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for them that love him. What God has prepared for them that love him. Every lover of God has a success story waiting for him in marriage. Can I hear an amen? Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In, in your marital life, you will succeed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You will not make a shipwreck of your home. I Amen. prophesy to somebody that in the name of Jesus, that the devil is trying to make somebody look at your partner, look at your wife or husband as a devil. You know, some people call their partners devils. They call them names. They call them negative names. But I'm here to say that in the name of Jesus, what God, whatever name God did not give you, the devil will not give it to you. We will not Amen. accept it. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you will make a success of your home in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, for a start, so that you can look ahead to what we have to discuss tomorrow. Why the heady living, which is part two, the indispensability of a of a healthy living, a healthy living. If you are if you are in a home setting, there are people who got married, and in one week, I know of a family they just got married. Within one week, the man died. You know they were sleeping, waking up, sleeping, waking up about five, six days, about the sixth day. It, he has not made seven days. He woke, he slept. The man slept, he didn't wake up. They, they rushed him, he was choking, they rushed him to the hospital, that was his end. A young lady, that, and she was not pregnant, she didn't have a child for that man. And the lady had long moved on with her life. I bet you, that shall not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. So, healthy living, let me tell you something. What can cancel one insult that can mess up a home or a marriage is our health issues. Yeah. Health issues. And that's why we will deal with that tomorrow. So, I don't want to go there yet. I'm mindful of the time that I have with this. So, let me get down the brass tacks. Let me start shooting the bullets for this for today's uh, business. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand that, that this subject matter is what everybody needs. Some people fear to marry. You don't need to be afraid because marriage is not your making. It's not your, it's not your something you created. It's God that created you created marriage and gave it to you. It's for good. It's not, uh, it's not, marriage is not meant to kill you. Marriage is not meant to destroy you. Marriage is meant to make you. We are all products of a home. We are all products of marriages. So irrespective of the marriages that have failed, it, that does not mean that we are also meant to fail. We are, re we are going to do the will of God in marriage and we will make a headway and make a success success of our homes in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay, so I told us earlier 
that like all other human engagements, marriage does not require less efforts to make it succeed. If somebody wants to go to school, if he must pass an exam, he has to read. You know, there, is, there are some level of labor and hard work that is put into it to make it work. The marriage institution is not less important, does not require less effort. A, a student knows that sometimes he has to stay away to read. Sometimes that's why to make, to make sure that the place is decent, sometimes you sleep late. The reason the woman will sleep late, cleaning everywhere, making everywhere tidy, shouting around with the children and the rest of that, is because she is looking at the home. She wants to make the home good enough, comfortable for her, for the inhabitants. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, so in the same way, you see somebody, he has succeeded in education. He has succeeded in his career drive, his vocation. He has succeeded in his business life, in his job life. But he will fail in marriage. Why? Why? Is it because the business is not a living thing? They are inanimate things. You carry one thing to the other, you go to the bank, you arrange things. You know, is that why? That, no, these are items, you know, that we work with, we put together, you make a success. Now, a human being is higher, is better. Is better. A human being is better. A human being which is you, like you, which is you or your wife who is like you, you are better. If you could make, if you could read materials, books, and make a success of, of your academics, make a success, you learn a trade, you make a success of it, you do other things, you make a success of it, I want you to know that you can succeed in marriage. There is no need to fear. There is no need to fear. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So marriage takes a lot from us. Okay? It takes a lot from us. So beginning from the last statement I made the last time when I came here, I want you to know that Every marriage that will succeed or fail begins with your choice. The choice of a partner. Hello, somebody? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, right. okay, sir. Uh, good. Now, you will fail. You will succeed. Everything begins with your choice. And you know, life is full of choices. We make choices, not only in marriage, we make choices of other things about life. Every day we choose, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, what should we eat? You make choices, you know, so choices are part of life. But you know, you, you, can, you also make choices of the clothes you want to wear, you have several of them. You look at your wardrobe, you say, which one do I wear, okay? Choices are made. Incidentally, all other things, may be ephemera, but the marriage institution is meant to last. The marriage is not like a cloth that when it's dirty, you pull it off. Or after wearing, you pull it off. Or when it's torn or it's old, you say you don't need it again. Marriage is not like that. Okay? Marriage is meant it to last. That's why in making your choice, therefore, look before you lift. Mm. Look before you what? Lift before you leave, okay? So your choice, marital choice or marital partner, and your success in choosing the best of a person, no matter how good the person is, male or female, that is just 30%. Hello, somebody? Hi. 30%, you have just caught 30. If you get the best, to, you have got 30% of your success. That means you have 70% ahead of you to be worked out. You have to work it out. You have to prepare yourself. You have to get ready because it's not a war zone. You know, it's work. 
is work because reward for more for for good work is more work if you if you are to be rewarded you see let's see how do people promote people in their workplaces they will say because you have worked meritoriously in this place they will give you a reward and they will give you promotion to a higher office and every higher office carries more work it's more responsibility did you see that so i want you to know that you have 30 percent success story when you choose the best of a wife the best of a husband mm -hmm. or you have 70 percent ahead of you of other things that you need to work very hard if you are going to come out very bright, mm -hmm. if you are going to come out well, if you are going to be the envy of your generation, you are going to be the envy of your world, you are, then you, you have 70% to work out. Mm -hmm. And what that means is that you are going to be able to look in the face of your husband to say, or your wife and say, darling, or sweetheart, or whatever you choose to call yourself, to say, I love you. Come on, somebody. <laughs> 10 years later, you are still saying, I still love you. 20 years later, you are still saying, I still want to continue to love you. Hallelujah. 30 years later, you are, it's not as if there is no argument, there is no disagreement, but you know, marriage is God giving you an opportunity to love one person, mm. one person, again, over and over and over and over again. Marriage is God giving you an opportunity to love one person over and over and over and over again. Wow. Let me, yes, let me tell you something. Marriage is the marriage of a life partner that is, if you marry a wife or you marry a husband, as a woman, you may have a father. And then as a, as a man, you may have a mother. But I want you to know that no father can do for you what a husband can do. As a daughter, you grow up, they groom you as their daughter. But now you are going to marry a man. Okay, so when you marry that man, it is only that man. Why I respect my wife. I respect my wife. In areas I don't respect my mother because I cannot afford to look at my mother's nakedness. Because our relationship as my mother is not, is not meant that I should undress my mother. No. I cannot do that. My mother cannot give me children, but my wife does. That means that's why we are one together. So we are blinded together in the way in the. So we can't hear where it gets up. He'll give us, give him sign with ear. Yes, you see me. No, sir, we can't hear. No hearing you, sir. I'll mute it again, sir. Okay. No, it's no we can't hear you. So please, sir, just disconnect it and reconnect it again, the way you did it before. No, we are not hearing. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. There was a liar. This food, we will eat it in the bottom. It's so sweet. I don't know about every other people. My book is already feed up. I no, trust. sir, we are not hearing. We are hearing, sir. But we are seeing you. We are not hearing you. No, they are, it's reconnecting it again. Hallelujah. Amen. No, we are not hearing you, sir. We can't hear. Just disconnect it totally. Disconnect the, the audio voice totally. Then reconnect it again. Glory be to Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Just disconnect it if it's possible, okay. It's coming back, please. I just want us to have patience a little bit. We will connect back now. The Lord. Hallelujah. Now we can hear, sir. Okay, okay. We have used another device. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Now, uh, I want to thank you very much. Check it. Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Now, what I'm talking about now is this. Uh, now, I was talking about the fact that our, our wives or, or husbands are very, very special. And because of that, we need to groom and grow ourselves with that orientation. If you don't have the orientation that your wife, your husband came into your life to make you better, that I am in marriage to make my wife better. So I can never, it is not, let, okay, let me give you an example. When my wife came into my life and I came into her life, she, has first, she had first degree. So as I speak, she holds a doctorate degree in her field of endeavor. Wow. And as I speak, she had just been given an employment to lecture at the University of Benin. Wow. Now, when we got married, I didn't have a degree myself, but she had. She was ahead of me in education. But you know what? One thing led to another, and it became necessary that I ask as the supposedly breadwinner, I needed to work hard and make sure that I was repositioned so that I could win more bread for the family. Mm. Are you there, somebody? You can take care, Master. <laughs> so what I did was that I came up, I did my first degree, second degree, third degree, and I finished before her. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my I'm God, my God. <laughs> now, looking, yes, overtaking is allowed. <laughs> Flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. <laughs> now, do you know what, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to let you know that having improved our lives, I could not say that since I met her that I have not made progress. Mm. I have made progress, a lot of it. And she could not in her life accuse me that I hindered her from making progress. Mm. Now, when she went to school, to when she put her documents, her thesis together, I helped her to proofread. I helped her to do a lot of things. Why? This is the woman that God designed for me. Mm to help me become all that I must be in this life. She is a help meet. So I didn't, so it's a, it's a matter of choice. It's about choice. It's about choice. So choice played out. Because some, there are some people you may not know, but except you have the skill of making choices. I remember that those days our children were much younger, much, much younger. You will share meat for them. And then you tell the senior one to choose first. He will take the smallest. Mm -hmm. Because he, is, he was a small baby too. So he wasn't too far from the others. So we will tell him, put it down. Choose this one. Okay. So when you don't choose well, definitely it will put you in trouble. That's the truth. Choices are very key. They are very important. So choose the right kind of person. Don't say, you know, and this choice... I am not going to go into that today, how to know your, you know, the best of a person to choose, no. But there is a book that one plus one, if you, I will recommend it for everybody 
in this platform to get one. He's a friend mm -hmm. of mine, a father in the ministry that wrote it. He can change your life permanently. Okay, but that's a different topic altogether. If we have to treat that, how to choose a wife, that's a different matter. But what I'm saying today is that that's, that's your choice, which is, and the chances of success could still be lowered for that when people don't choose well. It could be 5%. It can be 10%. It can be 15% or 20% as the case may be. But all these choices are very important. Why? Some people can just, like, like, the, that, like the, the information I just gave you, that somebody married a week later, the man died. Some people don't care about the head status of the person they are marrying. They don't think it's important. They just jump into bed. They start having sex. Sex is not number one. Don't be carried away by infatuation. Don't be carried away by beauty. It's more important to get to know each other. Do you know that today now people are more conscious about uh, about uh, gender type? Yeah, but right. those days they so were not they married. Mm. They were not, married. and it was it was killing, destroying the lives of the children. Yeah. Yes, it was destroying the lives. Well, uh, that is about hurt a little bit. But I'm saying that your choice, if you don't choose well, it can dabaru everything. Yes, uh -huh. right, on, sir. Okay. So having said that, the, seven, the remaining 70%, meaning that the couple has to do more and more to climb the success ladder before they can make appreciable progress or success. We have come a long way, I can bet you. We have come a long way to, to climb, to now say that, okay, we, we, let me tell you, every cupboard that came, we were paying school fees. The children came and they were paying, we were paying school fees for them and we were paying school fees for ourselves. Because we didn't want our children to grow up to come and meet that in primary six only now we get. Because then go soon look how far we go for life. Hello, somebody. Hi. Hello, sir. Okay. Hi. So let me read from scriptures. In Proverbs, can you carry Bible? In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, I want you to take note of this. I'm going to be fast, though, but this foundation is important. I need to lay it and lay it very solidly. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, what does it say? Yes. Whoso funded a wife Funded yes. yes, anybody can you can also read from there. I can call somebody from the from the platform to read. Now, this one that I read now says, Whosoever finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor. Mm. Married partner is a favor, it's not a cause. So even if you didn't choose right, but if you give yourself the right orientation, I bet you, if you begin to see your partner as a favor, and both of you begin to go through scriptures, and you say to yourself, oh boy, okay, look, oh, we, are, we are favored by finding each other. And such things can remove or obliterate the wrong foundations that you, you both carried before you met each other. Okay? He says, whoever finds a wife finds a good thing. Whoever finds a husband finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. So why would I look, look at my wife in the face and say, since I married, you are a cause. God forbid that. You are not a cause. Your, par your partner is not a cause to you. That's your right. partner is a blessing to you. The Bible says he will bless you, will bless you all the days of your life. Okay? That shall be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, now, now, therefore, we need that orientation. I want, I want somebody to read for us in the platform, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 23. Ephesians 5, 23. Who is reading for us? 
Ephesians, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ephesians 5, 23 says, yes. yes. For the husband is the head of the wife, yes. even as Christ is the head of the church, yes. and he is the savior of the body. Okay. Okay, now, We are not hearing, sir. Please unmute it, sir. We can't hear. Can okay. you get it? Yes, sir. Hear it. Okay. Now, I want read us it. to read. Oh, sir. Read, it read, read, it read the next verse. The next verse. Okay. Therefore, as the church is subjected, subject unto Christ. So let the wives be to their husband, their own husbands in a very in every, in every yeah. In every. Therefore, okay. as the church is the subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husband okay. in everything. Okay, thank you very much. Now I want you to read the Read verse 25 now. Okay. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Husbands, every husband in the house, please hear it. You have a responsibility to love your wife. Mm -hmm. And love is the desire to benefit others at the expense of self because love desires to give. Love is not about getting. Love is about giving. Love is not getting. Love is what? Giving. That's why in everything, even in business, when you are doing business, because people come to give you something in return for what you are offering, <laughs> It is good that it is good that, that you you give something proper. Give properly. Love the customers. Let the customers know that you are you love them by giving them. And when you are properly give, when you proper I mean, appropriately give, you will get a good reward for your for your services. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Now, you can see, it says, wives, love, I mean, submit to your own husband. To submit doesn't mean to become subject or to become a slave. That's not what it means. People think to submit, to submit means that you now become a slave. No. For a husband that has the right form of orientation from God, you don't, you don't lord it over somebody. I am so excited. I mean, my wife is the freest, the freest woman in the world. You know why? Because I allow her to use her initiative. Okay. So there is no, there is no, uh, uh, you know, putting her in bondage just because she is married to me. No, marriage is not bondage. At all. Marriage is love. Mm -hmm. It's love. And anybody's marriage that is, whoever is listening to me right now, and it uh, it has not, you don't have the foundation and standard for love in your marital life. This is it. Hear it now and give it to yourself as an orientation. Mm. As an orientation. Everybody who, 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 who goes to school to study any course, they read books. You cannot do, the, do marriage, marital matters successfully, successfully without studying. Mm. Because the information you need, 
they are in the books. So you must also study and get to know it, get to understand it, very important. Then let me, so from what we read, let me also consider why the number two acts that apart from uh, what I said earlier, I told us that choice is important. Then number two is orientation. Orientation. Give yourself the orientation from the word of God. Let your guide should come from the book. Your guide should come from the Lord. Because it's dangerous for us to be taking advice from another source other than the maker of marriage. Say, Somebody sir. created it. Somebody, so it is his orientation. You need to operate it. If there is what they call manual. Every manufacturer, when they manufacture a product, they put a manual on how to operate the machine. Mm -hmm. So that is where you get your orientation on the operation of this machine. It is in the manual. So you want a lot of people are dabbling into marriage. Are you sure? you have checked the manual, mm. have you given yourself the orientation as to how to run it? Otherwise, mm. you will go there to make somebody else cry. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, you sir. Know, I remember the last time you were saying that marriage is not to be endured, but to be enjoyed. Yes, sir. Enjoyment of marriage is possible, but it must come from orientation, orientation, renewing your mind with the word of God, what God says about it. That's what you must prepare to do. And then that orientation is what will blow you up and you become the envy of your world. Mm. And people will begin to think, ah, this marriage is made in heaven. It's made in heaven. It's because you are employing and deploying heavenly principles. Mm hmm are you there, somebody? Right there, yes, sir. sir. That's right. Then, the other one, the other point you also need, apart from the orientation, because you cannot employ the orientation of God and of the Bible, except you know that this, this marriage, marriage is meant to honor God. You are meant to honor God in your marriage. Mm -hmm. That is the God factor. Hello, somebody. Hi. Please, I want somebody else to read for me. Proverbs 20, verse 24. Proverbs 20, verse 24. Who is reading that? Okay, somebody is reading it. Man's going out of the Lord. Man's going out of the Lord. Yes. Proverbs can, 20, 24. Yes. How can a man then understand his own way? He says, man's goings are of the Lord. Mm -hmm. That is the way of man. The path the man will tread. The, the extent man will go. Everything man will do. Now God, now he go do him for him. Now God, now he go initiate him. Now God, now you go make the way, create the way for man to walk. That's what that verse is saying. And it says, how can a man then understand his own way? How can you, by yourself, without God, know the way to go? You cannot go. It's not possible. A, a road you have not plied before, you cannot just know it. Somebody created marriage. So the God factor is very important. You want to engage the journey? My dear, you need a compass for that journey. Apart from the orientation, that's what we meant by orientation, but you need to honor the man who really did it. You must know that. You must have him. You must know him. Follow him. Let me tell you, no matter how hard a woman walks, a woman, because she is not the head of a home, no matter how hard she walks to make a success of a home, if she has a husband that does that is not towing the same line, that is not repairing with her, that is not supporting her, no matter how good she is, she will not succeed in it. 
That's why sometimes you find that some men will die early. Why? They are smoking. They are running after other women. They are doing all kinds of things. That is, they are living dangerously in a way that will cut their life short. They are not cooperating with the, with the woman. Meanwhile, it's, it's, so it's supposed to be the other way around. Okay? So I want you to know that the God factor is very, very important. Then another factor that is also very important you need to take care of, you need to consider in marriage while you are there, is the cultural influence. Cultural influence. I want everybody to hear me and hear me very well in this part, in this very one. Cultural influence is destroying a lot of homes. Some cultures, other people are looking at culture to run their own home. You will hear some men say, in my place, we don't help a woman in the house. We don't wash plates. We don't uh, do this. We don't do that. You don't give support. Right. You are forgotten yeah. that. You are forgotten that the home, you are the number one person. That uh, the woman is a male helper. That is, you are supposed to be in front. Why the woman, everything you do, the woman will put her hand. Mm -hmm. Blow it, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless Blow you, sir. I, I collect that up. one, sir. Hey. Write it down. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Ah, yes, so because you, if you are the head, if you are the head, what it means is that you are the one to give direction. And now, if you were the owner of a company, mm. the workers are not supposed to work more than you now. The, oh. the workers are supporters. Because mm. if the workers that are working, they know the job more than you, then go use the work they do their own instead of you. Hello, somebody. Hi. But if you know the job, you understand the job, mm -hmm. you will say, you do that. You other one, do this. Then others, because of the delicate nature of the work, you will engage it all by yourself. And then they will all watch you. They will all be looking at you the way you are doing it so that they can learn it. For instance, why will you, why will, a, a, a man, a man is in the house. The bulbs are dying in the house. And then she's, uh, he is expecting the woman to go and buy bulbs to, to change the bulbs of the house. Huh? The uh, electronics are growing bad. You mean you cannot remove them and buy another one and bring? Even okay. till now, the gas, the gas in my house when it finishes, because most of the time I drive, I put, tell the children, put that gas, the feeling that put it in the car. I take it as we are passing. We, I drop it, they buy, they put it, we put it back and I drive it straight to the house. I don't say, my wife, sometimes my wife does not, I say my wife, I beg. Now you they use them, now me they buy them, but now you they use them. So occasionally as you they use, help me to help you too in that kitchen so that you will, me, I will enter the kitchen, not be made a light stove, or not be made a light uh, gas. I will go there and raise it to see whether it's still there. <laughs> Hello, God bless you, sir. Hello, sir. Because <laughs> when Belle the hot, she is cooking for me. Along the line, the thing be finished, and that food did not go enter my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. I know say for that side one a day. Uh -huh, the life there different too. Maybe when I get a gauge when they show the where the level or or the the company they supply your house direct direct. So at the end of the month you pay. But now we are person tall rich now they get ahead. For this exactly. side, our own not be like that too. You have to go and use your hand to check. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Okay. okay, so I'm saying that that's one of the things you know. Now, culturally speaking, take note of this. I want to use two countries. You have Nigeria, you have India. You have Nigeria, you have India. Is everyone in the house following? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Now, take note of this. The Indians, they are known to be best in the things they know how to do. The Indian people, Indian as a nation. 
For instance, they are good in ICT. They are good in computer. And both in their country, and they are good in medicine, medicine. Both in their country and outside their country. Now then they carry first for those areas, especially ICT. Let me give you an example. In, in the Indians, the Indians in US, they are the highest earners in computer work, both man and woman, both male and female. They are the highest earners. Please find out. And when they get there, they don't buy big, big houses. They don't buy extraordinary cars. They don't buy two cars. They have only one. The husband will carry the wife and the children, the two children also, they have, they will drive them. Everywhere the woman goes, the man will carry and go to their car and come back. They will go to office together. They will do everything together. They also have misunderstanding, you know, but you know what? When nobody knows whether they have misunderstanding ever, but you know what? The Nigeria, Nigerian culture, when they have misunderstanding with their wives, <laughs> there will be fights, they will video it, they will send it into the space, make everybody in the world make them the same. <laughs> Hello. Hi. The Nigerians, they will video, they will say, they will say, okay, you are beating me, you are okay now, the world is watching you and videoing you. Police will make a combo. When husband and wife, Nigerian husband and wife, they, they see quarry, they will call police for each other. Mm. Are we going to make progress with that? At all. No, sir. Let me tell you, it's a matter of orientation. The work we are working, that means we go work finish. The man, if the man is a highly placed person, then go divide in property, then go give them to the woman. The family is, 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 is shattered. That's the kind of orientation that is culturally that our people are living with. And it's not good. That, do, you see, will it not affect our, our home, our families back home when our children, our brothers, our sisters live like that out there? Instead of the husband and wives to join hands together, no matter what you see, orientation says well, you must love each other. Orientation says, whatever you are seeing, sort out the issues, discuss. You cannot start with love and end with hate. Mm -mm. You cannot start with love and end with fight. Mm -mm. You cannot start with love and end with breaking each other's head. And you, oh. you know they hear say, you know they hear of people say that they kill each other, husband and wife, killing each other. Where is that one coming from? My friend, let me tell you something. Let me advise you. Instead of killing somebody, why don't you repackage the woman? Mm -hmm. Carry and go back to your family, give them back. Say, this woman want to give me, I'll not do it again. For God, he that, he that finds a wife, finds a good and obtains favor. If it is true that it's favor you found. Now, is it favor that is now ending in death? So let, let's understand some of these things. Mm -hmm. Okay, because of time factor. Because of time factor. Let me also show you something. Communication. We lack communication is key. We lack communication a lot. Husband and wife must learn to communicate. Mm. Learn to talk to each other. Talk about every important matter. Talk about food. Talk about children. Talk about sex. Talk about whatever you want to talk about. Anything. Our men need to grow beyond certain level. Mm. Uh -huh. That the idea that a, a woman cannot initiate sex, uh, let's do away with that kind of thing. Now. The body when you get now your own, the woman also get her body, and this body needs to they need to come together and enjoy each other. Let's stop denying our wives their conjugal rights. Is not good. Or women, let's stop denying our husbands mm. their conjugal rights. That's what the Bible says in First Corinthians 7. 
no, no, First Corinthians 5. It's not good. Have sex, enjoy it. Be deliberate about it. Enjoy it. Until, look, some women have been married. They have never experienced what they call orgasm. And the man has not bothered to learn the dynamics, the way it works. All he knows to do is that once there is going to be sex, or you lie down. You enter her, you pour it, you get up, and the woman, and so she's following like that. Not be so. There is a way you can do it. The woman will they beg you, he go they he go they sweet and go say, Do a more, more, more. Yes, you are my husband. Yes, I love you. Oh, that's why I married you. <laughs> Come on, shout hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. <laughs> Holy Spirit is involved. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you know, let me tell you something. There is something about Christianity that is affecting us negatively. Mm. People don't know that that because you are a Christian does not make you not to be human in this world at all. Mm. And yet to see a man be, or woman because you are so spiritual, you know they chop food. I am yet to see one. And not the apple. In a day. I don't know book again. No. <laughs> and when it comes to some other things, they will say, I bet be in the spirit, not spoil us, not spoil us. Now today, not I bet leave that thing, I bet spoil. Marriage is meant to spoil <laughs> both of you, men are spoil, men are spoil. Free lessons, as soon as you are married. <laughs> I know, Pray sir. Lord, somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you can discuss it. You can say, uh, my darling, you know, carry or go hand, put them for where you want, make the hand, they carry the hand like this. Put her, tell and say, do that place where we're touch and where we're made the year word. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, so I, I will leave this one for you people now. <laughs> <laughs> I will leave no, mommy, you need for you so people. Yeah, no, 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 mommy, you need okay. to listen so you can teach us that. So. Yeah, <laughs> now, listen to him. I so think that I will leave this other. one for you people now. I will say, make you leave for us. Uh, <laughs> not living for us. Men, Lena, <laughs> Lena, make I'm you okay. teach <laughs> Number like that. Now. God, 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 so communication. Right and it's only God, communication God. that can solve that problem. That is it. Yes, yes, it's communication. Not so the men should stop making the women feel that if they if they show any form of enjoyment, it means that she don't spoil. A, a man, a woman once expressed her sexual enjoyment in you know in the act, and the woman and the man got up and said, you'll be a shower. You'll be a shower. <laughs> oh, wow, oh God. Ah, what kind, that, what kind of man? Very messy. boring, very archaic. In fact, that man, not be this our generation, then for Bonham. <laughs> not be this our generation, so then for Bonham. Now the generation of the early men, when they sleep on top of tree, now that time they for Bonham. I don't know where they for Bonham. Face me, I face you. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Okay, so today, my dear, and some people, some women will say, uh -huh, wait, till, wait, what do you need sex for? We never born children, finish. Waiting, waiting, we need them for, we never done, finish. My dear, these children, when they see, so then go come on for house. So the yes. truth is, one of the things that keep you is that sex. Mm -hmm. Because the work, it continues. The work of it, that is by giving bed may have finished. But the other one of encouraging, <laughs> exciting each other, is not over. At all. That one continues throughout life. Mm -hmm. Come on, shout hallelujah. 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 Okay. As not far as, the man, as, yes. far as man. the man is still strong. <laughs> yeah, so even if you're not strong, <laughs> like, wait a minute. Man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about that uh, statement our mama just made. God, I now, now, when you they wait for the man, make it come tell you until you tell some women until the man now I tell and say, come now, may we do lie lie on their own. They're not the initiator. It's not good now. Don't be like, don't be by like that. Now, one of the things when they weaken the man be that because since when I'm married to you now. 
If he not talk, you know, go for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. I bet repent, I bet repent. <laughs> 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 but let me tell you something. You know what? Eh? Let me tell you something. Oh, I don't if you I don't have care. a husband and after you don't ask, you don't ask, you don't tire. You don't tire. You know, even they get erection again because of your style. You don't, you don't dead them. You know, you don't come, you don't de <coughs> you don't make the team tire. You don't make the team tire. So, but if you want to. If that man, you know, they get erection again, eh? let me tell you something you will do. You'll be surprised. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You'll be surprised that that very man, your husband, if you know they get erection again, because anytime when one meets you, the thing will just go down. It will go down. You know what you will do? Not just climb bed and then open your legs and make contact. Not be bad like that. Mm. The way it works is this. Before now, lie down. While now still stand, John looks straight in his eyes and say, my sweetheart, whatever you call each other, give and kiss and tell and say, look, the best thing that has happened to me is you and me and you, me marrying you. I mean, you have changed my life forever. You will give and kiss. Another one, another one, another one. Kiss the queen. Yes, so you will just say kiss him. You will kiss him here, kiss him here, kiss him here. You will kiss in breasts. You will kiss on. You will they touch on. You will they touch on. As you they touch on like that, they touch on like that. In two, will they reply you? Uh -huh. As if they reply you, they reply you. Before you know that thing, so you will just stand. Hey. Then I don't you just continue. You will just continue. You will just, just, just they give on. You will just they give on. They give on. They give on. Then at that when time, I no, no, no. Mama, you go teach others, so no, no, I did tell you. No, leave that place. I want to see you as I did young. <laughs> so, as, as, as you don't, they, as you don't, they kiss like that. Do that, do that one, do that one. Then, you will come. Not in lesson, not. You will come lie down. As you come lie down, he will follow you. He will follow you. But Next time you are writing something, no. Uh -huh. Then you will come follow you. Plan. Are you writing? Come follow you. Yes. Then he will come they touch you. He will come they touch you. Then the man will come they touch, touch, touch the wife for the most sensitive part. Okay. If it is territory, so okay. you will touch and touch and touch and make it <laughs> climb. You go they climb. You go they climb. You go climb. When he don't reach top, you will enter. Once they you enter and two of them go arrive together. Mm, finish work. By the time you arrive together, I tell you, the woman go, your wife will <laughs> grab you whole like this. Hello. Go grab you whole. You go they vibrate for that bed there because okay. you don't climb. Oh, no. You don't climb. This means your wife means there is noise in the background. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, time don't be finished. Time don't. <laughs> okay. Well, as I conclude, I want to say this. As I conclude, take note of this, that one of the things you need is that husband and wife must learn to make sacrifices. Is it so? Make sacrifices for each other. Make yeah. sacrifices for the children. Mm. Make sacrifices for your wife. Make all kinds of sacrifices. You cannot love somebody without making sacrifices. At all. Uh -huh. Sacrifices. You can go extra miles to do one or two things that will help. Let me tell you something. You will notice that as a woman is now having a lot of children that are, you know, dragging her, dragging her here and there, her attention will be shifted sometimes from you. What you do is that Whatever is taking her attention, join her in it. Mm. Don't leave her because if you leave her, uh, clothes are there, the children are there, food is there in the kitchen. Just find one of those things to join her, whatever she's doing. Join her as you begin yeah. to do it. It's not because you have the time, but because the sacrifice you make is one of the things that will make the marriage sweeter. It will help her 
because she will be so tired. Because when she does all the things and she's tired, she can't respond to you. It's not her fault. She has come to help you succeed in your home. Thank you, so sir. So don't think, yes. So not be today we won't finish our more. <laughs> so what about finance? You know, there is finance. Then uh, extended family members. A lot of other things, you know, that exist in family thing, you know. So all these things. Troubles can come from here, but if you are if you are committed to each other and you have the orientation, biblical orientation, as to how you should treat your in-laws, <clears throat> as you as to how to treat your brothers, your brother-in-laws, and everybody together, you will find that there is nothing that will come to your home that you cannot make a success of. Absolutely. I hope with these few points of mine, I've been able to convince you that you can make a success of your hope. In yes, Jesus' sir. name, we pray. Please, I'm not in agreement with those of us that come on our camera. We are supposed to be seeing our faces. Please, if it's possible, on your camera, put your hands together. Let us appreciate this great man of God who have overloaded us today. Ah, Hallelujah. let us open up our mouths as we release the declaration upon his life. He has oh, fed us. A lot of virtues have left him. We should tell the Almighty God to increase him abundantly. More grace upon him. Just open up your mouth. If you know that you are really blessed with what the Holy Spirit is going to do tonight. Faithful and everlasting Father, we are so grateful for the life of your son. Thank you, Lord. You have used mightily beyond your understanding tonight. God, we demand it and demand that your only in his life, we don't run dry. Oh, grace upon his life. He's a great man. 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 He's a I believe that a lot of make a lot of people made a mistake by coming with luggage. You are supposed to come with trailer because this world is just too loaded. You are not to forget about anything our daddy has said tonight. That was powerful. Thank you very much. Before we move to the next segment of question and answer, I know that a lot of us have a question and answer. To ask, and our daddy is here with us, available to respond to your question. But there is a little point I jotted down that I would like us to take notice of. And the first one, sir, with due respect, I want you to throw a light on it. Maybe I didn't get it really right. Uh, the first thing you said that in a nutshell, as in where you are coming from, determine whether you will succeed. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. As in, you make a statement uh, when you talk about the success that uh, that if you are going to be successful, it depends on where you are coming from. Did I get it right, sir? Yes, that is as a contributory factor. So I want you to throw more light on that area. Does it mean that if you come from a background that uh, they were not successful in their marriage and in your old generation, you will not also be successful? Okay, no, that's not what it means. But okay. the thing is, it can be a contributory factor. Okay. For instance, a home where a child or a group of children were well-bred, well brought up, you know, have been taught how to live, how to relate. Okay. You know, they relate to boys, they relate to girls, they relate to their father and their mother. That definitely can make a difference. Okay. But here is also another person who never had the mother around to relate to. He never had the father around. He never felt the love of a mother or the love of, of a father. You know, was raised where in a place where, you know, he was always victimized either by an uncle by the wife, by something. So from there, he went to school, but he was trained, though. 
or they were they didn't even train, but he had to live there later to start struggling to now make a success later. Mm. Except he knows God to now reorientate. For mm. somebody like me, as I was growing up, my mother and father they were not together. Mm. Okay, so I didn't have the love of father and mother together to help me. Okay. But what helped me was the orientation of scripture. Mm. When I gave my life to Jesus as a teenager, I even had made up my mind before I became a teenager that I was not going to marry. That mm. is before I became saved, I said I was not going to marry. But when I got saved, I started reading the Bible and then I saw that that the way my parents did it was not the way. Now, because I now know the word of God, I now know God, I now use his word to reorientate, to reorganize wow. my life. And that's wow. why I started making progress in my life. Fine. That's why when I married, I started doing it like somebody that was well brought up. Yes. By a father and wow. mother, not because I had the upbringing, <laughs> but because God affected me. Wow, that's okay? powerful. Thank yes, you very it much. Is, it is the one of God that I had. But, wow, wow. but people Thank are very blessed much. when they have parents who know God and they can see the way their parents relate. They never mm. fought. They may have brief misunderstanding, but they they are able to overcome it. They are able to. And you can learn from that and use yes. it to run your own home. Mm -hmm. God bless okay. you, sir. Thank you very, Praise very much. Lord. I believe Amen. that we've gotten it clear. Let me just add yes. this to it. I want every okay. one of us that is hearing the sound of my voice to try as much as possible to be a role model to our children. Because for I our try. children to be successful tomorrow, what they learn from us contribute to it. Thank you very yes. much, sir. That was powerful. And our daddy make a statement. He said, until you are being able to deploy that which you learned, let me put it in that way, you will not be addressed as someone who is successful. That's that right. means if you, if you are being trained to have a good character, until you exhibit it, no one will applaud you. So I want everyone to note out some things that are very, very important so that we we'll take it to other people who are not privileged to be part of us. Hallelujah. Amen. I also wrote another thing that our daddy said something that you can be successful in every area. At the end of the day, you will fail in marriage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just write this thing. I know most of us, we are laughing, so we could take anything. So I was just pinching it, taking it, so I will bring it to our hearing later so we can take it. You can be successful. You can be perfect in every area. But when you are far from the spiritual manual that was given to you in order to guide you, you can fail. May that not be our portion in the name of Jesus. And you also hit the point about cultural influence. That one is really damaging a lot of marriages today. We should know one thing that when you are born again, you not start practicing the culture of Christ to my best understanding. This is how my mother did it. This is how my father did it. It's not supposed to be what will bring it to our marriage because you and your wife, both of you started your own generation and a man was given to you. So I encourage everyone, we should not allow that to bring as in misunderstanding in our marriage. And it talks about our husband who is the head. According to his explanation, our husband are the starter. We are the pusher. <laughs> He's the one that started it where we come to help him. So I pray may Almighty God help our husband to really respond to their call according to how God designed it. God bless you, sir. That was powerful. That was powerful. So the platform is open for everyone. If you know you have questions, please just raise up your hand and uh, by the grace of God, our daddy will respond to your question. Question time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm Sister Elizabeth. Um, I wanted to ask a question. Thank you. And thank you, sir, for the message. I was really blessed and uh, transformed. My question is, is, glory, she's okay. 
Is it right <laughs> for a man or the husband to take decision outside the wife? Whether is it a right thing? Maybe for example, uh, for example, uh, yeah, there is something going on outside, or uh, then you just take decision. Then when you go to home without telling your wife, you, the wife will not find out that this is the decision yeah. you took. So I want That's to know if it's a good enough. thing. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Daddy, please, sir, did you get the question clear? I did. Okay. That's Thank not you very much. And over to me. I did. Can I answer? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Now, decision without uh, the, the wife. Yes. Okay. Well, you know the nature of mine. That's why we talked about communication. Mm. Now, when you are communicating, a marriage where there is proper communication between the husband and wife, they are able to always do things together. You know, why it's good to, to take decisions together on most issues is because whatever uh, thing you do, whether it's properly done or not, it will affect the other partner. Mm. Because both of you are in need together. It's a partnership thing. Mm -hmm. It's a partnership. So the, you, your, your wife is not a substandard person. She is dead. Let her know what you are doing. Like I told you that I was, uh, when I came into the family life with my wife, we started we wanted to anything we wanted to do. Like going further, we discussed it. She took her form, she went for her. Then along the line, I also discussed my oh girl, look, now maybe the man before, you know, good now, may you come become a doctor. Then tomorrow I will still be primary six. You know, oh good. That time you go they talk. I will say, okay, you are speaking grammar over my head, Abby. <laughs> so maybe me still enter. So that so we both agreed, even though it was going to be tough on our finances, but it was a decision we had made up our minds to go with. And then it, today it has paid off. So every little thing is good to discuss it, but even though it has its own uh, problems too, sometimes take note, it is not everything in the wisdom of the man sometimes, he may choose to keep some things off Yes. Not because he wants, he doesn't want you to look. Respectful. For instance, yes. uh -huh. so for instance, when my, my father-in-law passed on, when my father-in-law passed on, my wife called me and said, See, oh, my father, my father has been rushed to the hospital. Please go and find out whether I mean follow them up so that uh, uh, you know you can assist. I, okay, I drove straight. I not told I was not in the house, so I was told, I not drove from wherever I was to the hospital. So getting there, I meant that he was already dead. Mm. Okay. So now my wife now called me and said, uh, "Hi, is he?" I said he's responding to treatment. <laughs> okay. So you find that now I went, I came back, and my mother-in-law was there, my wife was there, and they wanted to know what the situation was. I said. He is doing very well now. He is coming up and is responding to treatment. Now, the reason is, if I dare say that he had passed on, my wife could bite me without knowing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not because she, won't, she wants to bite me. Emotions, you know, could be involved. Emotion of some kind of reactions uh -huh, that is not expected. She could, she could fall and injure herself. You know, so we need that to manage. Sometimes men are built with capacity to manage certain situations, uh, okay? But this one is an, is an extreme situation. But any other thing that can affect the family, for instance, when uh, other people came, I, I now said that, uh, that uh, the younger brother of my wife is outside, I wants to see her. Then they now carried her from there to the house because my mother-in-law was with me. So, you know, I'm just using that as an example, but that is not to say that 
everything that comes around, we should be keeping secret because we want to manage information for our wife not to know. Even the issues. Let me tell you something. Issues about money. The woman should know how things should, uh, how you intend to manage, you know, like opening same account, you know, to, to like myself and my wife, we have joint accounts. When we put money there, usually the way we do it is we will say either can sign to get money out. Either. I use her ATM. She uses my own. Why? Over, over these years, 25 years now, we have trusted ourselves that in the use of money, we not de uh, defraud each other. So she can afford to give me her ATM. I know her pin number. She knows mine. You, so you see that. But when your wife now says, no, I will not give you my pin number. It's because of the way you are mismanaging. And mm -hmm. when there is mismanagement, it's not good. But communication is very key. It's very key. And mm -hmm. so that you can mm -hmm. properly carry your wife, carry your husband, carry so that the room can run smoothly. Mm -hmm. Because Thank if you, the woman is in the dark, that's if the woman is in the dark, she won't know what you are doing. And mm -hmm. she may take steps and do some other things that will offend you. Thank you uh -huh. very much, sir. God bless you. Uh, mommy, I hope you are satisfied with the explanation from our daddy. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank Let you. Let me say 80% or 90% should be as in exposed to your partner should not be kept as secrets. Maybe let me say 20% <laughs> because of the nature of man. So it's very important we relate to our partner. Let me quickly throw this. Something happened while I was in Nigeria. A man went to buy a bus without telling his wife. Or not to him that ham robber was trusting him. Getting home, it was through the ham robber that the wife discovered that you go buy bus to do. <laughs> so it's good we relate as to serious, our partner. As serious as bus. Yes. It's very cohesive. It's because your something can happen to you. As your a man, you keep secrets for your wife. If something happened to you, that thing is gone. The only person that cannot rob you is your wife. Yes. You can't back, or rather your husband. So it's yes. very good we relate things to each other. God exactly. bless you. Uh, yes. Minister Favor, I saw your hand raise up. God bless you. Your question? Yes. Thank you, sir, for the teaching. Uh, Father okay. and the Lord. I agree with you, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, although he threw, he threw light on a question I wanted to ask, which is, is it good for husband and wife to have separate account to the extent if wife will not know the, uh, the amount in his husband account and the husband will not know the amount in his wife account? Is it good this way? Okay. Thank you very uh, much, sir. Sir, please, okay. do you get it clear? I did. Okay, sir. Please, with due respect, because of time, just yes. in three minutes, sir. Okay, in very short answers, um, take it or leave it. I think the first thing that you really need is this. By the same orientation that I talked about, people should not see money as something that is more important than a human. Mm -hmm. Why? Because if my wife could share her body, her body, her life with me, Mm. the money we both went out to go and make, is that what we cannot share? At all. So, I mean, what's the matter? What was the issue with uh, this money thing? You know, I think people need to understand that if you could share your body in sex to, I can see everything about my wife, you know, nothing else. Then when we now bring money, we are hiding it. Mm. My wife knows where I keep money. Every time she only tells me, Please, my darling, I want to collect money. Okay, you know where it is. She will collect what she wants to collect. And I don't hide anything. The one in the bank, the one in the house, she collects it. Because if she don't, con if she don't collect her, who will collect her? Not be mm -hmm. me tell her and say, make it come up for your father's house. Make it come my house, come for. Tell her. Now let her fuck. I don't fuck. Any other thing there, he must chop her in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very, very much. So now uh, the matter might be that one. Thank you, <laughs> thank you very no, much. I'm, I'm, I'm putting I'm it in a very sad. straight and vulgar way. Yes. But that's the long and short of it. Okay. 
God bless you, sir. Minister Favor, are you okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Okay. Number like that. But the thing is, if you notice that your partner does not know how to use That's money, money. Uh -huh. and then, then you will put her through. You can teach her. Some of these courses are available. You can apply for them and individuals can be taught on management. You cannot just have money now and waste it on one thing. No. There is tomorrow now. So Ooh. you can begin to. But if you don't open up to her, leave her, let her operate, you will not be able to know the area you need to put her through. So leave her. No, everything cannot begin with rules and regulation. Let her be herself until wherever she's blowing it, you begin to put her through, but not with bless Korea. You. God yeah. bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Let Praise me quickly add this. Maybe if it happens that you have a partner that um, has problem in managing, maybe you people income, there is something I always advise people to do. Carry him or her along. When you have a budget, put it in a hand. You have 1,000 euro. Tell her or him, honey, you want to buy something of 1,005 and you have 1,000. She will be the one that will be fasting for seven days for you to complete that money. So before any e can come, make sure you carry her along and have a budget of what to do with that money. It really works. God bless you. God bless yes. you, sir. I'm seeing a hand raised up for me. Please, can you hear me? I just yes, want to take you. two questions and we are done for the day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, um, Daddy, for this uh, message today. But my question is because when you were talking to us, you spoke on choice. That choice is very important. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. what about people who got married to their spouses out of pity? Or yes. who got yes. married to their spouses in the form of maybe um, maybe the girl was betrothed to the man or an arranged marriage? These couples, how do you think they can cope in their different marriages? Praise God. That's my question, sir. How, you are asking how do they cope? What's your name? Hallelujah. What's your you name? Log in with Fumi, sir. My yes. name is Fumi, sir. Okay, Fumi. Okay, thank you, Fumi. Now, the thing is this. Such marriages actually exist. You know, for all, people come together with all kinds of reasons. You know, some out of pity, this girl is suffering. I don't want her to suffer again. But bringing her closer now, she starts manifesting some things. Then you now begin to feel, you know, that she cannot uh, be with you, you know, all sorts of things. Then others are arranged and the rest of them. But <clears throat> you see, that's why one, in the first place, make sure anything you call marriage, let it be official. Mm -hmm. Make your marriages official. Okay, when you make it official, when I say official, I mean go and pay bright price. Because no woman jumped down from uh, heaven. You know, he, the, she has a father and mother. And uh, many, many men are in the habit of camping women they are not married to. It's not good. It's not a good practice. You are not going to respect her. You won't treat her, you know, with a proper respect. Okay? So it's good that let, let her people know you love her and that you want to marry her. So they will tell you, okay, do this, do this. Then you officially do those things. You take her away. And then they will know that you are married to her. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> the fact that there is nothing official about your marriage can set, can bring in the spirit of rejection. It can introduce the spirit of rejection. Okay? So because of that, you it will not seem as if you want to make a choice of whether you want her or you don't want her. So it's a road. It's like when you say this is the road you are going and then after crossing the river you burn the... you burn, When you pay your bride price, it's like burning the, uh, the canoe or the ship that took you there so that you don't look back. That's how it is. Okay, so you pay bride price, make it official. That's one. Then two, <clears throat> whatever. That's why I gave you percentages. Some marriages are 5%. We can't hear you, sir. Can you hear me? The best of it. Hello? 
We can hear you now, sir. God bless you. Okay. <clears throat> the best of well arranged marriage and uh, for somebody that you also love is 30%. <clears throat> the remaining 70%, you have to work it out. Now, what that translates into is this. Even if originally you did not, uh, the foundation is wrong, what you can do is that you can repair. You know, if you have a foundation, if you have the house, you built a house. See the way we live in a house sometimes. We have a house that we built that was poorly built. Now the thing is caving in, some parts are giving way and the rest. What you do is that you, you do some repair work on it. Isn't that what we do? Yes, sir. You don't want the thing to collapse. You say, mm -hmm. if it collapses, now all my things that I have here will go bad. So what you do is that you break some parts down, you repair it, you rebuild. Then the parts that are cracking, you know, you repair. Anything you know will create problem. If the roofing, uh, the leaking roof, you change it. You you model, you remodel. You know, you rebuild. You do all these things deliberately. So mm -hmm. you you can make it who she really want. Now, what 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 is miss may be missing in that lady is that she never received orientation. So what you do is that you take her to a marriage counselor. Both of you will be counseled from the beginning to the end. Now, with that new orientation, both of you have some have reference. You can have be making reference that we were taught this, we were taught this, we were taught this. So you now have something to follow. Before you know it, then if she doesn't know how to cook, you take her to a place where she can cook. She, she can learn how to cook. Everything. You will be surprised that that lady that never knew how to, her willingness her willingness to learn something new, to follow something new, you can remodel her life, that your marriage can become a blessed hope. Wow. Even though wow. before now it was not, but because Thank of you, the sir. new steps you have taken to remodel, mm -hmm. to rebuild, to reorientate, you find that that home can become a beautiful one. It can become mm -hmm. heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. It can be better God position God for something. God bless you, sir. God bless Praise you, sir. Lord. Thank you very much. That was Amen. powerful. I believe our mommy that asked the question is totally cleared. Thank you, sir. Yes, I Thank am. You. Thank okay. you, ma'am. God bless okay. every one of you. Because of time, we are going to end today's program. Okay. This time, 1030. Please, I encourage everyone, tomorrow is going to be blessed. Don't just be enjoying what you've enjoyed today alone. Test somebody to test somebody, and God will bless you. At this point in time, I want to call a, a wonderful minister for vote of thanks before the closing prayer. Okay. Well, let me say a, a last word. Okay. I want to appreciate all of you for this wonderful privilege that I'm giving to be here. And nice. uh, I want you to know that something big and big and bigger and bigger is coming your way in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Uh, by the grace of God, I want to encourage that everyone should uh, determine their blood group. Go and do your test. Know your blood group because tomorrow is going to be explosive. Mm, wow. It's going to be, a, you will hear things you never had before. And wow. you know how healthy living can help your home. Wow. Thank God when I you, knew my own. I when don't you know about every other person. Yes, when you see two people who were married, they mm. stayed together for a long time, 50 years together. Mm. They must have been sick at one point or the other, but they cared for each other. They mm. were prompt in responding. And so such person was brought back and they were able to stay together for a longer time. Mm. But I'm going to say things you never knew. Wow. This one I just mentioned is just by the way. But other things I'm going to say will blow your mind. Mm. Wow, wow. Thank the you Lord bless much, you. Thank the Lord you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. We can't wait for, for tomorrow to come. And over Amen. to you, great minister of God. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, my honorable minister. Pat. Ah, mm -hmm. my big daddy. Mm. I talk and say, I don't, I know you're not going to let you go this time. So we're going to tap from that blessing. We're going to tap. And when we are tapping, I'm not going to tap alone. I'm going to share it. So please, tomorrow, let us be here again for the second part of this program. I want to appreciate every one of you, every one of you for this time spending here. You leave everything that you're doing to be here. I want to appreciate you. And I know that as you come here today, hmm, 
God has record to date down. And I believe that you have been blessed with all to hear. And please, this that you heard today, don't just hear it alone. Mm. We are not those who hear. We are those who hear and practice it. Because the aim for this program, the aim is that we know. The more you know, the more knowledge you have. Not that you have know it, not that you have heard about it, but practice it in your own. So that we'll begin to see different in our marriages. Wow. This is the reason. Because by the time you hear it, you did not practice it. The aim is not fulfilled. But as you hear true. it, please, I am begging every one of you, practice it in your home. And that will make my joy complete. So I really want to appreciate every one of you from the beginning. I cannot mention names. You are just too many. So the names are too many to, to mention. But my God knows you name by name. And I want to say thank you. And I believe that after today, there will be a, 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 a turnaround in our marriages. Amen. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Thank you very much, great woman of God, for giving us this opportunity to dine with you in the King's table. May the Almighty God honor you in Jesus' name. Please, it's time for closing prayer. Let us be in the mood of prayer. As I call on um, wonderful mommy and that blessing to lead us in closing prayer. God bless you, ma. Okay. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we thank you, King of glory, for the privilege given to us this evening. Amen. We thank you, my Lord and my God, for your the life of your servant that you have used to, Father, to feed us, Lord Almighty, with Amen. your divine teachings this evening. Lord, I pray, King of glory, as we have learned, Lord Almighty, as our sister just said, King of glory, I pray, King of glory, mm -hmm. that we have the grace and the boldness with thou shy Lord Almighty to practice it in our own, in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I pray that this teaching today will change things in our marriages. If there is any marriages that there have been a barrier or anything, any atom of problem, Father, through these teachings, Lord Almighty, Father, let there be turned around and home and, and uh, divine harmony in such homes in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we pray, King of glory. Lord, may you honor your name, honor yourself, King Amen. of glory, in every marriages. Honor your name, O oh Lord. Let Amen. us never come here for in uh, nothing's sake. Father, Amen. let our coming here, Lord Almighty, be a blessing to our families, Amen. be a blessing to our children in the name name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I pray. My Amen. Lord and my Father, as we commit tomorrow into the able hand, Lord Almighty, as we are going to add to the ones he has taught us tonight, Father, let tomorrow be wonderful. We commit into thy able hand. May tomorrow Amen. be great, O oh Lord. Lord, touch every member, Lord Almighty, that is on this platform, Father, to respond Amen. tomorrow, and at the end, thy name alone be glorified. Amen. Lord, Amen. I commit your servant that you have used tonight into the able hand. Father, virtue has, has gone out of him, Lord. Mm. Father, may you replenish him, O oh Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, that the oil, your oil in his life, your fire in his life will mm. never go down and round down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May your fire continue to be upon his life. Amen. Father, we pray for grace, your grace upon every member on this platform. Amen. Father, King of glory, May you, King of glory, ignite your light, O oh Lord. May your fire in our lives never quench in the name of Jesus Christ. May your glory, Lord. Father, give us the grace to walk on the path of your righteousness, O oh Lord. Father, wherever that we are not perfect, you are the God that perfect things. Father, King of glory, may you perfect every imperfection in our lives and homes, and that the end thy name alone be glorified. We thank you, we bless you, Father. Lord, we say, have your way in our family. Amen. And at the end, thy name alone be praised. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, man. God bless you. Please bless mute you. your mic as we share the grace together in fellowship. I want to hear your voice. Please mute your mic. Hallelujah. One to go. Let us share the grace. 
Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Daddy, thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank 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 you. you. Thank you. 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 Tomorrow we'll be meeting by 7.30 p.m. Europe time, not 8.30. Today we started at 8.30, but tomorrow, by the special grace of God, we'll be meeting 7.30. Mommy, Mommy Abuwa, God bless you, ma. Mommy Mercy, God bless you. Give your mic, I'll put your mic, ma. Brother, you know, yeah, because her mic, God bless you. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. God bless you. You're welcome. Oh. Queen Esther, I want for you. <laughs> mommy, good evening, ma. <laughs> God bless you all.